Welcome back to our series on setting up an access control system. In the previous part, we showed you how to connect an electromagnetic lock with a ZK Tico SA40 access controller and an exit switch. In this video, we'll guide you through the first time use of this setup, covering the basics of door access and changing the default passwords. Let's get started on securing your space with personalized settings and ensure optimal functionality right from the beginning. Stay tuned! To begin using the access controller effectively, it's crucial to reset it to factory settings to ensure a fresh start. This step initializes the device, making it ready for your specific configurations and use. To reset the access controller, first disconnect it from its power source to ensure safety during the process. Locate the reset pins, typically found on the backside of the panel near the relay. These are usually labeled, and you will need to short either pins 1 and 2 or pins 2 and 3. You can use a metal tweezer or a piece of wire to create the short. While keeping these pins shorted, reconnect the power to the device. Within about 5 seconds, you should hear a buzzer sound and see the LED status indicators change, confirming that the reset process is complete. This audio-visual confirmation indicates the controller has been reset to its default factory settings. Now, the device is ready for you to set up your personalized access settings as demonstrated in the video. After successfully resetting the controller to factory default settings, you are ready to use the default password for opening the door. Simply enter the default password 8888 hashtag on the access controller keypad. This password is preset to allow general access and serves as an initial test to ensure the system is functioning properly. Using this default password is a great first step to verify that your setup is operational and the controller is correctly managing the lock mechanism. To change the default door open password, you need to enter the administrator mode first. Begin by pressing the star and hashtag keys simultaneously. When prompted, enter the default administrator password, which is 1234. After successfully logging in as an admin, press 9 to access the door opening code settings. Next, enter your desired new password for the door, such as 2580 in this example. Confirm your new password by pressing the hashtag key, which saves the changes and exits the setup mode. Now, you can use your newly set door open password. To do this, simply enter the new password 2580 on the keypad, as shown in the demonstration. After inputting the password, press the hashtag button. If the password is correct, the system will recognize it and unlock the door, giving you access. This step confirms that your password change was successful and that the system is working correctly. This time, we will demonstrate how to change the administrator's default password, which is 1234. Start by pressing the star button, then the hashtag button. When prompted, enter the current administrator password, 1234. Next, press 0 to select the administrator password modification option. You will then be prompted to enter your new administrator password, for example, enter 6666. After inputting the new password, press the hashtag button. To confirm the change, re-enter the new password 6666 and press hashtag again. This completes the process, and your administrator password is now updated. To access the door using an RFID card, the user management card typically does not unlock the door directly. Instead, it is used in administrator mode to enroll new RFID users. For example, to add a new RFID user, swipe the user management card on the access controller, this does not require entering the admin password. After swiping the management card, select option 1 to add a new user. Then, swipe the RFID card of the new user to register it into the system. You can continue adding multiple RFID cards sequentially, or press the star button to exit administrator mode once you're finished. This process ensures proper enrollment of new RFID users into your access control system. Once the RFID user has been added and enrolled in the system, they can open the door simply by swiping their RFID card on the access controller. 
the system will recognize the enrolled card, verify the credentials, and, if authorized, unlock the door automatically. You can enroll RFID users either using the administrator password or the user management card. To enroll a user using the password, start by pressing star and then hashtag. When prompted, enter the administrator password, such as 6666. Then, select option 1 to add a new user. Next, swipe the RFID card of the user you wish to enroll. Once the card is registered, press star to complete the enrollment process. This method provides a quick and straightforward way to add RFID users to your access control system using the administrator password. You can add additional RFID users using the same method described earlier, simply repeat the process for each new user. For more detailed instructions and tips, we cover this in another video within this series. Thank you for watching. If you found this content helpful and want to see more tutorials like this, please support us by liking and sharing the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest uploads. Your support means a lot to us, thanks again.